Okay, so today we're gonna talk about uh, making decisions using if statements. So what is an if statement? So if you read this, uh, so if statement basically allows a program to carry out different actions depending on the nature of the data to be processed. Meaning, wherever you have like a decision branch, you use an if statement. So for instance, the flow is coming from top down. So if some condition is true, you take one path, otherwise you take an, another path. So that is what a decision statement essentially is. So based on a given condition, you make a decision whether to go right or left. So based on something is true, you take one action, otherwise you take another action. So let's look at this piece of code. So what's happening here? So here first, we are setting a variable called actual floor to be zero, okay? Then the next statement is, if floor, which is another variable, is greater than 13, set the actual floor to this value. Else, set the floor to, uh, the actual floor variable to floor value, okay? So if this condition is true, take this action, else take this action, okay? So that's what an if statement is. Um, in some cases, you don't need an else branch. Like if something is true, do something otherwise, leave it alone. So that's what this graph represents, okay? So how do you write an if statement or what's the syntax? So you write it in this way, if, then you write your condition, colon, and then you tab it, and then write, uh, what you need to do, okay? So let's see how this works in Genie, okay? So how does an if statement work? So I'm going to define a variable, let's say. A equals five, let's say, okay? Then my condition is if the variable A is equal to five, do something. Let's say, and see, my cursor is here. When I press enter in Genie, it automatically auto tabs it, okay? So the tab essentially means that this statement will be part of my if statement. Print A is five inside quotes meaning throw this as screen uh, to the screen and when I press another enter see what happens so I'm still in part of the if okay so the tab essentially means that this is part of my if block okay I'm gonna just gonna print another statement uh, uh, part of if being shown okay Then I press and enter. Now in this line, I want to write the else statement. So I backspace it or go back. Then I can write else, else do what? I don't provide any condition, okay? Else do what? Print A is not five. Okay, so that's all that's happening in this program. In the first case, uh, there are two lines that are part of the if block. The else block only has one line, okay? And if you see, I didn't provide any condition in the else block. Like if A is not equal to five, then it will come in this else side. Currently A is set to five. Let's run it. So this is what my execution shows. So this is my result, right? A is five and part of if being shown, these two statements are executed because A is set to five. This line is never executed because A is five, right? 
let's turn that off and now turn is value to be not 5 so this condition will be false this statement should be executed execute a is not 5 right so that's what an if statement essentially does and this is the syntax that you write a condition here any condition let's say now I change my condition to something else a is 6 let's say a is greater than 5 so my condition now is if a is greater than 5 go here else go here run it it surely goes in the first block a is 5 oops a is 5 and part of if being shown these two lines are executed because this is true okay so this is uh, another example so elevator sim works the same way that, that I showed you in the code uh, the first line only the first line is different in first line what's happening is that you're taking the input from the user when you run this program you'll say that it will wait for you to write a floor number one two three four something like that okay how this line works we'll learn in a couple of lectures but for now just copy paste this line and make sure you understand this code so what's happening here is that you're taking the floor number or this floor variable from the user on the keyboard user enters let's say 10 the so floor is 10 is floor greater than 13 no so this statement is executed what are these statements you're setting a variable called actual floor here and here and then in here down here you're just printing that so when you run this program you'll see something like this that if you enter 20 your floor will be 20 minus 1 because 20 was greater than 13 okay so make sure you do this exercise and understand what's happening So compound statements. Uh, so compound statements uh, are basically like I showed you in the code. So if you need to group a couple of statements that you want to run with the if or else conditions, you put them in the same tabbed uh, statement. Okay. So statements blocks are essentially visual cues that allow you to follow. Uh, the login and flow uh, the, of the program right so like I showed you uh, so here in this code like I showed you is uh, these two statements are part of the if if you want any other statement to be part of the if let's say any other statement like you and these I'm just writing gibberish but these have to be real statements like something like this that if you want to set another variable you want to do something uh, all these statements are part of the if block okay because they're all tabbed one tab under the if so in python the tab controls what is part of a block if else needs certain statements they have to be tabbed one space under the else okay I'm just gonna delete my gibberish this is valid code so this so your indentation essentially um, controls what is part of your if block okay then what kind of operators can you use in an if condition so you can use any of these greater than less than uh, less than or equal M mathematical notations are written here how do you write them in python is shown here okay not equal is 
exclamation equal if you want to check equality you use two equals because remember a single equal is uh, assignment right so here a single uh, equal sign means you're assigning 13 to this variable floor while here you're testing if this variable is equal so two equal essentially means is equal Single equal means assign this number to this variable. Is equal to 13 or not? Okay. And you can use like the if conditions to test strings as well. Like if one variable is equal to another variable. And here name one and name two are two strings. Okay. Example is here. So name one has John Wayne with a space in between. Are those thing, these two strings equal? Yes, they are, right? Because the case and all the letters match as well. So J is uppercase, uppercase here, so they are equal. What about these two strings, right? O, A, o and A are not equal, so it will just stop there, right? Similarly, uppercase W, lowercase W, these two strings are not equal okay so then make sure you understand all of these that y is something equal like uh, like 3 is less than and equal to 4 is it true or false right it's true why because the condition like the reasoning is here so on the slide i've given you all of these so make sure you understand these okay then there's another example called compare.py. Uh, see that file, run it, and understand what's happening in that file. Then another thing is regarding operator precedence. Just remember that calculations are done before the comparison. If you do something like this, if floor is greater than height plus one, so this is a calculation. So height is a variable, floor is a variable. So these variables are evaluated first, then this comparison is done. Okay. So just remember that examples uh, are given to you. So make sure you understand uh, the sale.py example. Okay.